Hello and thanks for stopping by, I'm Adam. And in today's video, I'm going to run through how to flash upgrade the firmware in the DIV MMC Enjoy Pro 1. And this is available and manufactured by ByteDelight.com. The first thing to do is back up the SD card from the DIV MMC Enjoy Pro 1. Now, I cannot stress this enough, and it goes for everything, not just what I'm doing now. Backup, 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 and in case you didn't already guess it, backup. So grab the SD card and whack it into your computer. Now, if you don't have an SD card reader already, you can get these from Amazon for under a tenner. The link is down below. Here's the content of my SD card. Let's create a folder on the desktop to copy the contents to. Next, let's get the latest firmware from esxdos.org. At the time of recording, this version is 0 0.8.7. Extract the zip file by right-clicking and selecting Extract All dot 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 and then clicking the Extract button. It's always a good idea to check out the README file. So here we can see some new features and how to install the firmware. I have the DIV MMC from ByteDelight.com and I'm assuming you do as well and that's why you're watching this video. As I have the DIV MMC, I must copy the ESX MMC tap file to my SD card, run it and then power off the Spectrum and remove the SD card. Then I need to copy the sys and bin folders to the SD card reinsert it into the DRV MMC and power the Spectrum back on. Now I really need to point out that these are just generic instructions and are not specific for the DIV MMC Enjoy Pro 1. So these instructions are missing an important step and this important step will prevent us from performing the upgrade. Now the missing step involves turning the Write Protect mode off that is currently set to on on the internal EEPROM. So to do this, head on over to ByteDelight.com and download the eProtect utility. The full link is in the description down below. We will use this to turn off the right protect for the EEPROM and then re-enable it again after the upgrade is complete. Again, the downloaded zip file must be extracted and any coders may be interested in looking at the source code, but I'm not going to look at this in any detail today. So let's copy the div mmc underscore eprotector.tap application to the SD card. And let's also copy the new firmware to the SD card. Insert the SD card into the div mmc enjoy pro 1 and power on your spectrum. We are going to need to run the eProtect utility, so run the div mmc tilde 1 tap file. Once loaded, to turn off the right protect for the EEPROM, you'll need to set dip switch 1 to the off position and then press E on the Spectrum keyboard. And when prompted, set dip switch 1 back to the on position and then reset the Spectrum. Now we're ready to flash the latest firmware. Run the ESX MMC tap file and once loaded, set dip switch 1 back to the off position and then press the enter key. It will take around a minute for the EEPROM to be flashed with the new firmware.
When the flash upgrade has completed, set dip switch 1 back to the on position and restart the spectrum. The last thing that we need to do is to re-enable the write protect mode on the EEPROM. Run the ePROTECT utility again and set dip switch 1 to the off position. And press D on the keyboard. Then set dip switch 1 back to the on position and restart the spectrum. The firmware in the DIV MMC Enjoy Pro 1 has now been upgraded. Let's restart and I'll pause the video capture so that we can confirm the version of firmware that it's running. Here you can see that my DIV MMC Enjoy Pro 1 has successfully taken the new firmware and it's showing in the top right hand side as version 0.8.7. Nice. As always, I do hope that this video has helped you out and if it did, then please don't forget to hit the like button. Until next time, bye.